So, Rosie, how are you? For Rosie here, a new set of gold earrings nearly had life-changing consequences. A minor irritation with chrome alloyed with the precious metal led to infected cysts that left the 10-year-old facing operations that could have left her permanently scarred. The surgeon that we saw said that they had to be cut out, um, but he wasn't confident that um, he could do that with the cysts being as large as they were without disfiguring the earlobe, and he really wanted the best look of the earlobe for her because she's only 10. So he said we need to get that um, inflamed cyst as small as possible. The answer came from a surprising source, a new bioengineered strain of honey. I thought, why honey? Why not some cream or some medicine or something? But I didn't think honey could help get rid of cysts in your ears. <laughs> Doctors say it shouldn't be a surprise though, as the benefits of using honey for wound healing have been known for centuries. This is normal honey, but the honey's been enhanced. Its, its enzymes within the honey have been turbo boosted, if you like, to make it really potent, more potent than any other honey, and as potent as most antiseptics. So it's active against all the bugs that we find in soft tissue wounds, including multi-resistant bugs like MRSA and multi-drug resistant E. coli. In Rosie's case, it's been so successful, she might not now need an operation at all. In addition to the success they've enjoyed with the honey here, doctors from Hampshire have also taken it further afield, in particular to tropical countries, where more sophisticated medicines can be a difficulty to transport because they need to be kept at a specific cool temperature. When the heat goes up, all that happens to the honey is it becomes just a little bit more runny. Joe Campbell, BBC South Today, Winchester.